Hey everybody, welcome to Franny Square and to Sunday's Show and Tell, where it's all about you. Okay, so before we get to today's pictures, I just want to let everybody know if you want to participate in the show and tell, send me pictures of your work along with a brief description in an email to my email address, frannysquare at gmail.com. And that way, when I put your pictures up, I'll be able to tell people about your project. You can tell me about the yarn you used. You can tell me about any special techniques or if it's your own design or a pattern, anything you'd like to tell me. I love getting the emails. I love seeing the pictures. We have such a talented group of people here and you're gonna see in today's project just how talented people are. So I'd love it for you to participate, send your work in and I will add you. The show and tells are going to be every Sunday evening. So I will compile the pictures as they come in and I may have to move some pictures to the next week if I either have too many for an episode or if I haven't gotten a chance to add them into the video. All right, so let's get started with the pictures for this episode. So our first submission comes from Misty and she actually sent me pictures a few weeks ago with her granddaughter in them and I'm hoping to be able to put those up because they are absolutely adorable. She makes bunnies and she makes dresses for her granddaughter. And in fact, in one of those other pictures, she made a bunny with a dress that matches the dress her granddaughter is wearing. So, so cute. So I'm hoping to have those for you soon. In the meantime, take a look at some other bunnies that Misty made. So in this first picture, she has a bunny wearing an adorable purple jumper. I love how the uh, cuffs of the pants are folded up. The next bunny has green eyes and a multicolored dress. And then look at this, the happy little bunny couple with a hat on one. And you're gonna see in the next picture, the jumper, the blue jumper actually has a pocket in the front. And here's that picture. Look at that, it's holding, I don't know if that's a pen or what that is, but it's an actual working pocket, adorable. And then here is a dress that she made for her granddaughter. And you can see there's some fringes going down the side of the dress. I like how the work on the bottom is open and then it's a tighter weave on the top. And it looks like the back is more open also. And if I didn't mention it, this is Misty's own design. Thank you for sending those in, Misty. And I'm hoping we can get your other pictures up soon. The next pictures come from Sandy at Crochet A, as in EH, Canada. The first two photos are of a scarf called the Carry Keyhole Scarf by Love in Every Stitch by Ruby Baby on YouTube. Aren't those pretty? I love that long piece with the pom-pom at the bottom. Then the third picture, Mr. Perzalot by Crystal at Chronically Crochet YouTube. Oh my goodness, look at that little mouse. How adorable is that? And then finally, this is Sandy's own design using Premier Spangle yarn. I love the size of this shawl and the difference in the colors and the stitch work. Nicely done. Thank you for sending those, Sandy. The next pictures are from Amaris, and this is a really unique project. She's making a ball gown for Comic-Con next year. Take a look at this. So you can see, it looks like she's working the ball gown in layers. I can't wait to see this finished. Amaris, I hope you'll send us pictures when this is finished. And also, could you let me know, is this a pattern or is this your own design? I'd love to know that. Thank you so much for sending those in, Amaris. Next, Samantha Jefferson sent in two pictures of her own designs. The first is a piece of filet crochet, and I have yet to try filet crochet. I read an article on it, and I'm very interested to try it. She said she may make that into an afghan. The next is a sweater she made which looks so comfy and cozy. And I love that the stitches run vertically and that there's the contrasting edging on the sleeves 
and around the collar. Thank you so much for sending those in, Samantha. Next, Leanna and I have had several emails back and forth. She was making the Diamonds Are a Girl's Best Friend mosaic tote bag that I put the tutorial up for, and I hadn't yet put up the handle, so she designed her own handle to go with it, and I think it looks great. Great job, Leanna. And I love the stripes on the handle as well. Thank you for sending those in. The next two pictures are from a friend of mine named Lisa, and she crocheted two ponchos. And I believe both of these ponchos are using the same pattern, but different yarns. Take a look. It looks like she uses the granny stitch along with some granny squares as the stripe in the middle and then fringes on the bottom. And I love those neutral colors. And then she really changes it up by using much more contrasting colors here. Love it. Thank you, Lisa. This next submission is by Maria Hall. She said, here's my latest project, a baby blanket. The name of the baby is Sadie. I'm sorry if I pronounced that wrong. I don't read patterns, never really learned how. I'm a self-taught crocheter. I design my own, whether on graph paper or just rough sketching on paper. I'm not an artist. I can't really draw. Well, you can't tell that, that's for sure. This is completely reversible, as you can see from the back, which has no floats. That's really amazing. Look at that. And I love hearing that she's self-taught. Thank you so much for sending those in, Maria. And finally, we have a true artist in our community. Her name is Stacy Hortner, and she sent me an email introducing herself and sending me the link to her website. And she has some of the most amazing fiber creations. You have to go take a look. I'm going to put a link to the website in the description below. In the meantime, here are a few pictures that she sent me. The first one I'm sure looks familiar to you. The Diamonds Are a Girl's Best Friend tote bag. She's made one panel so far and she's thinking of doing the back panel with the colors reversed. I think that's a really cool idea. She used tape yarn called Fettuccine Fine. It's a two weight, 100% acrylic, and she used a three millimeter hook by Pony. I have to try the Pony hooks. I haven't tried those yet. This next picture, she said she's so close to finishing. All she needs to do is attach arches and balls to the white crocheted columns. The white columns are attached to a metal grate, which is reinforced with plexiglass. And she said, always an engineering problem to solve. I don't know if you can see this, but every piece here is crocheted. The next picture is of a crocheted quilt that she won a cash prize for at the Virginia Beach Art Center. Look at this, this is amazing. She said the whole piece can be seen on her website. And this close up shows the bleached coral in a devastated ecosystem. She also crocheted and wet felted the crochet rocks surrounding the tidal pool. Wow, that is so unique and beautiful. This next picture, I asked her if I could include it. I saw it on her website and could not get over how lifelike this looks. This is a felted work. Is that unbelievable? Wow. Thank you so much for sending those in, Stacy. Okay, so that was this week's episode of Show and Tell. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. And please don't be shy. Send me your pictures and descriptions. I've gotten so many comments where people said they really enjoy seeing what the community is doing out there. And I know I do. As always, thank you so much for joining me. I truly appreciate it. Remember to make it your own, and I'll see you soon. Mm -hmm.